What's up guys, today we are watching the season 5 finale of Peaky Blinders. So last episode ended up being quite a bit, you know, we saw that Linda didn't die. She ended up making it, but left Arthur, which I'm not surprised about. And also, what's it called? Tommy ended up breaking out his old friend Barney from a insane asylum or whatever, which I thought was pretty, like... I didn't think he was actually gonna do it since he's like dudes in a insane asylum but he did it since he's a good sniper so props to him but also do Ada's baby daddy died and that's what I'm pissed about I did not expect him to die this season or like just at all but it just seems like anyone who knows a freaking Shelby is gonna die and it sucks to say that but can't really help it. It's what happens when you know the family, you know? But I'm ready to see Tommy go through with like the rest of his freaking plan since this is the last episode of the season. So I guess let's get into it. And your mother was probably born in a tent. Grandmother in a tent. Your mother on a narrowboat. The fact that he was right and I found out that you are not forming an alliance with him at all. You are spying on him. Yes. I look, he thought he knew that. What is your strategy? I won't burden you with this. You're going to break the law. Doesn't he always? situation here in Westminster. Do what you have to do, Mr. Shelby. Even if it's breaking the law. You don't knock. No, Finn. I don't knock. Nice. Hello, Billy. Oh my god, here, oh, look. Look at that, Billy boy, eh? Look at some snow here, look. Oh, look at some more, look, snowflakes, Billy. What is your problem, Arthur? <sighs> football and women, we only, ever we only ever talk about football and women. Oh, do you? Yeah. This is... <sighs> I really don't know what his deal is. It's probably still fucking Linda. And he's on shit. You bearing up, Arthur? Bearing up for what? Bearing up to be free, pal. Another glass, eh? An apology from Lizzie. She can't be here. Charles is a violin concert. And he's missing the concert. Therefore, due to the amounts involved, I think this company should be restructured. Michael, I think this can wait till outside the family meeting. Could it, though? Up with my wife, I will organize an expansion into America where the narcotics business is just beginning to grow. So I have very good contacts in Detroit. Mom, you can get married and live in that big house. Arthur, you can be the man that Linda wants you to be. Fuck Linda. Yeah, Linda been left. What do you mean? A full restructuring of the company. I will be managing director. But under an assumed name to protect your reputation. I found the name of a dead man. You will be registered as Mr. Jones. Isn't that the name of the episode too? It's cold in here, Michael. <laughs> Tommy, the Americans want to deal with me. Item number three. Damn, he just threw that shit in the fire. So he doesn't give a fuck about his plan, what it could be good. Tommy. 
He's bitten through the fucking road. They've got him cornered, but they need help. Go and get him! Who? Ada's man was killed in your own backyard because you fucked up! Hold on. Go and cut me. He is stressed out about a lot of shit right now. I gave you an opportunity, Michael. You betrayed me. Don't be here when I get back. You? Damn. Let me guess. Don't fuck with the Peaky Blinders. It's weird hearing it without an accent, you know? Damn, Polly. I did I never expected you to do that. Let us fucking lose it! Whoa! Whoa! Calm down! Put the gun down when you let us fucking lose! Oh, oh, that is the guy they broke out. Maybe it's bad that they broke him out. He only listens to Tommy. Ah, Curly, you go with him. Come, brother. Let me give you the good news. Jesus loves you. Oh, where the fuck is he? <laughs> I already met the man I was going to introduce. In France, he was a comrade. <laughs> what the fuck is he now, Tom? He's a man we can use, Johnny. For what? Who? Arama. That man is a trained Royal Marine sniper. Furthermore, he's a criminal profile. Oh, they, they're talking about Barney. Don't hang him on grounds of insanity. Just send him back to where I found him. And they've had a very eventful holiday that he'll probably believe never really happened. So he already had this shit thought out. Every man in this room will receive £30,000 in cash and recognition of extra services. Holy... It's a lot of money y'all are, be are gonna be getting. Two days ago, I went to London, Mickey. Are they gonna... Are they gonna accuse him of being the mole? Paddy Rose. Are they gonna kill that dude? Because it doesn't seem to be going in his favor, so... The girls at the exchange gave me the number of the man. They called Mickey before the explosion. That was your number. Mickey. So, yeah. He is screwed. He knows he's about to die or something. I feel bad for the dude, but also I don't, because he was giving up information, and that's on him. Sailing a big shape, my brother. Okay. Fucking knew it, but I didn't expect him to kill him like that. Like, he literally went wham. Shake like the end of the normal man. Okay, so we found we know who the mole was. He's dead now, so we don't have to worry about that no more. I thought it was freaking Michael, but it wasn't. Okay. He might be right. He might be fucking right. Arthur, there is no item number five. He is not the person to go to with any kind of problem because then he lashes out like that. Forget you, Tommy, for being like that. Arthur was trying trying to believe in something else, and hmm. Small guys, what can you do? I 
tell you something, Tommy, right? I see it all day. Alfie! No fucking way! You got shot! You got shot! I thought you died! What the fuck? I told you his face got grazed. I told you. I didn't think he died. I love this. Alfie's alive! Okay, I'm happy. Fucking mess. Now, how soon did you know that I was not dead? He wrote me a letter, Alfie. Did I? Why would he write him a frickin'... <laughs> he was asking about his dog, my god. No, no, not according to this holy book right here. Yeah, it gives a very, very vivid description. You and I are both fucked, mate. Well, shit. No, don't be silly. What you've heard? Well, fascism, yeah? He's the one frickin' holding a gun on Tommy now, okay. <clears throat> Mine, on the other hand, I had to be living a dream. Sometimes I will shoot at the side of a ship, and sometimes I'll sit here, I may shoot at the old seagull. <laughs> I have missed this man. Oh, look, a ship. I was just about to ask, why is he holding it like that? But his eye. Bean for you, Tom. Gangs, wars, truces. I think I didn't already know. <laughs> Pound, you'll get 5,000. You know, as a god, Tommy, right, I am now able to just rise above those kinds of things. He's going to ask for more. It'd have to be 25 at least. 25 it is. We can take your dog back then, eh? No, it's just better for him to think <laughs> I am still dead. No, take him back. You know, on account of it, well, you know, being shot in the face by some cunt. Oh, I won't bore you with the d <laughs> I swear to fucking God, I love this man. I'll continue. Till I find the man. And I can't defeat. You know what I just realized? Now that Alfie's alive, he can meet, dude, I have wanted him to meet so many people to see them interact, and I thought he was dead. Man's alive. So who is, is he gonna interact with someone? Let it be Mosley. I wish he could have been the Chan Greta dude, but he's dead. But you know, I just wanna see that. I hope that is not the last time we see him in this episode. Please. If Abrahama takes his side, I will kill him. What about me? No, we don't talk about killing Polly Gray. No. I didn't think he would actually say that he would kill Abrahama. If, you know, but still. That's not something you just bring up. Come on, they just got engaged. Are they already married? But not me. Not anymore. My resignation. Polly's leaving? So does that mean she's gonna go with Michael to the States, maybe? Or wasn't she trying to get them to go somewhere else? Stan, you, Polly. Good for you to get out. But Arthur seems to want out of it, too. So is she, is she gonna possibly convince him to go to tell me how my mother went Charlie <clears throat> he doesn't know about his own mom or you think maybe he made up the story I know it wasn't by accident <sighs> why is he now thinking about that 
I feel like if he really wanted to know, he would have asked a long time ago. She just stepped into the canal. Your dad was no use. It's me trying to stop her for three days. She was suicidal and she... She killed herself? What she gave to you? We used to ride it around, remember? The fact that he's just learning this now, even he's like in a bad place too. So learning that his mother killed himself, but also like the pony that he remembers, like. You see, obviously love with her, Tom. No one knew but me. I never, I never would have thought you would have admitted that to her son, especially Tommy, but... The same way, suicide. Sometimes these things run in the family. No, that, that's making me think that he's gonna die that way too. Like, maybe next season. If he dies, I don't know if he does, maybe it could end differently, but if that's the way he goes out, I swear. Bullseye, bitch. Okay, he is a good shot. I didn't think he was gonna be since he seemed to be shaking a bit, but... Ate all them tablets? Just needed another fucking war, eh? And then Arthur and the other dude are like, the fuck? I didn't think Tommy was right. Look, I have to go, yeah? I have to go. We go where? They're shooting the fascists tonight. We're gonna do what? I feel like it wasn't a good idea to tell him. Why do I feel like he's gonna do something? What did I say? Why do I feel like he's gonna- Who is he gonna call, man? Is he actually- Was there two moles? I don't know. I just want to see where Alfie comes into this because he promised- Well, Tommy promised, what, like 25,000? So what is he gonna do? I didn't expect them to do anything to her. Your son? You can do more damage from the inside. Come on. Come on. Was that his way of telling her what he's doing? Tommy, check his pocket watch. Back out ten. Yeah, uh, block, uh, block title. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Nah, it's for after. Thank you. Thank you. Why do I feel like this is about to go sideways? It's like, yeah, I know we saw him shoot, but like, I feel like it's gonna go sideways somehow. Jesse, before the speeches start, just go out. There's gonna be lots of arrests. You have a mark against your name. Why? What's going to happen? Dude's gonna die. That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna do a good thing. Whenever I do a good thing, innocent people get hurt. So go home. So he's trying to protect her that way. There was a rumor a gang of Jews were coming up from Digbeth. No sign of them yet. Don't let them come. Welcome them appropriately. What if he doesn't die? Like I was saying earlier, what if the plan goes sideways? What if he does it too early? I don't know. Some will come here tonight to find out for themselves what we stand for. Whenever you're 
need some. I'm so confused at what Alfie's doing. Is that the gang they were talking about earlier? Like that the dude was that dude was telling Oswald about? Oh no, it's about to happen. What did I say? I felt like something was gonna happen, but I didn't think dude was gonna get shot. Who killed him? Who? He's masked! Abarama! I was low-key really scared for Arthur, but Arthur fought against him. Who's gonna go after Abrama? He was just, he just got engaged to Polly. What happened? I don't know what happened. I don't know what fucking happened. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Why oh. fuck? I just, I just, would it be the dude that Finn told or, I don't want to say it could potentially be Alfie again, so. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make fucking sense. There was another mole, maybe. Talk to me. Maybe I found him. Arthur, the man I can't defeat. Oh, like he was talking about earlier. Work it out. Have a drink. I need to walk. The work's all done, Tommy. It's all done. We can walk away from all of this. Is he about to try and do the suicide thing now? Come on. No! I thought I had more time! No freaking way, bro. I just want to know who the hell it could have been because he basically already killed them all. It was a dude from the bar. But then whenever Finn told the dude who does the fucking race shit that like helps them like with the races and everything, it could have been him because he grabbed the phone. Because it, if it's not him, then who else is it going to be? I don't think Alfie would have done it. Alfie looked like he was interested in seeing what happened. He was listening to the whole thing. I just... I'm so confused. And like, I, I'm not going to lie. At the beginning of this episode, I was kind of being dragged. This episode was being like so slow for me at first. And it was, like, after 20 minutes, it was starting to kind of get hard to want to finish it. But as soon as I saw Alfie, that's when shit started to pick up for me. Seeing that Alfie isn't dead made my day. I fucking love that. I, I really thought man was dead. So he has the potential to come back in the next season since he's still alive and mostly is still alive too which is still surprising because 
low-key it's like I was hoping that the plan would have like worked and like I really kind of thought it was going to but then I also had that feeling that like nah something's gonna happen because something always fucking happens and look the sniper dude got killed Abarama got killed and Polly doesn't even know it yet so does that mean that the next season is gonna pick off pick up from like right there because like it can't go much further can it i mean fuck after grace died they went right to her funeral we didn't even get to see it so you know i just feel bad for polly because abarama died she seemed to actually like him and it's like she also planned to leave the fucking peaky binder she was leaving the business shit and i don't know where she was gonna go but i figured maybe she was gonna go off with michael and his wife but it's like so much shit just happened in those last like 45 to 30 minutes like my god and it's like i don't even know what to expect of next season because i know i know mostly still gonna be there since he didn't die alfie is still alive so there's only so much that could happen and it's like what was being said earlier about like how tommy's mom died and everything if tommy commits suicide in the next season i'ma hate this show i'ma hate it because that's some bs a man like him cannot go out like that because yes he does have some mental illnesses but I just I can't see him going out that way you know like it's hard to depict him going out that way same with Arthur Arthur has anger issues and shit and sometimes he seems to try and go to Tommy for like help in a way but sometimes Tommy like calms him down a bit but then this episode whenever he kind of did it he was just he just blew up on Arthur because he's in like a tough moment you know but like mmm so much shit was happening it was such a stressful ending to a season I want to see what's going to be happening with all the shit with like Polly finding out about Am Amarama Ambarama I'm saying this man's I was saying it right earlier I got it wrong already but yeah we are on to starting the last season, which is kind of scary, but we still have six episodes, you know? So I guess come back for season six.